वेलकम बैक गैस इन दिस वीडियो आई बी अपडेटिंग माई एफ एसा फ्रेम जनरेशन मॉड गाइड फॉर एल्ड एन रिंग रनिंग ऑन रॉक एल एट कम्स विद विंडोज इलेवन रेडियन सेवन एट जीरो एम जी पी यू आई एल बी यूजिंग द लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ फोटो एस मॉड वर्जन फोर पॉइंट नाइन पॉइंट टू दिस वर्जन वॉज रिलीज अ वीक अगो फीचर्स एंड इट सपोर्ट फॉर टी एल एस एस फोर मल्टी फ्रेम जनरेशन एम एफ जी इज फॉर आर टी एक्स फिफ्टी सीरीज जी पी यूज ओनली बट टी एल एस एस अब स्केल कैन बी यूज ऑन एवरी आर टी एक्स जी पी यू एड सपोर्ट फॉर एफ एस आर थ्री पॉइंट वन फ्रेम जनरेशन सपोर्टेड अब स्केल डी एल एस एस फोर एफ एस आर थ्री पॉइंट वन एक्स एस एस वन पॉइंट टू आई मैनुअली अपडेट एक्स एस एस टू वर्जन टू वी कैन यूज एन वीडिया एम एच स्केलिंग शार्प ऑन ऑप्शन फॉर डी एल एस एस एंड एक्स एस एस एट्स वेरी गुड टू सी इन दिस बिल्ड ऑफ मोटा स्मॉट सपोर्ट रीशे बट आई वोट बी यूजिंग इट लेटेंसी रिडक्शन एन वीडिया रिफ्लेक्स एंड एंटी लैक टू वी कैन यूज एंटी लैक टू एंड रॉक एल है एस टी आई सपोर्टेड इन पॉडल एस स्क्रीन मोड एल आई डज नॉट सपोर्ट एस टी आई सो आई वोट बी यूजिंग इट एफ पी एस अनलॉक डज नॉट मैट ऑन एल आई एस द गेम्स परफॉर्मेंस ऑन दिस डिवाइस इज लिमिटेड बाई द सिंगल को सी पी परफॉर्मेंस इवन वेन द गेम इज नॉट हेडिंग द जी पी बॉडल नेक एफ पी एस फोर्ट एक्स सी सिक्सटी ऑन रॉक एल आई अल्ट्रा वाइड अनलॉक विद लोडिंग स्क्रीन फिक्स रिक्वायर्स द गेम वर्जन वन पॉइंट सिक्सटीन वन पॉइंट फोर्टीन वन You cannot play the game in online mode with the mod installed. Need to run it in offline mode. I'll show you how to disable ESC in the later part of the video. Now this is the early access build of Hota S Mod. In order to gain access to it, you need to subscribe to their Patreon page. Their monthly subscription costs around three US dollars. It's a one-time payment only. We'll also give you access to Hota S other mods. Just recently, they released a similar mod for Elden Ring Night Train. There is a free version of this build as well available on Hotai's Patreon but it does not support anti lag 2 and ultra wide unlock with loading screen fix you don't need this fix on rog ally installation instructions for the mod have been provided here need to extract the mod contents to the game directory elden ring game if you want to use reshade you need to include this add on file as well er ss reshade stuff i'll skip it as i won't be using reshade disable easy anti cheat Need to add this launch argument to the game via Steam. Set resolution in the game's graphics menu to your target resolution. Open the mods overlay by pressing the home keyboard key. Set the settings for upscale and frame generation. No issue section. Flickering global illumination visible in shaded areas. It's caused by either Nvidia drivers or Elden Ring itself, but made more prevalent by the mod. Mod provides a fix for it. Just need to enable GI glitch mitigation setting. Set the in-game global illumination setting to low. This can help in reducing the effect's intensity. Scroll down until you find the attachment section. Click on the first link. ERSS add-on. Remove frame time constraint. Now just click on ERSS FG version 4.9.2 release SE dot 7Z file. I'll be using a few more mods to disable the in-game chromatic aberration and vignette post-processing effects. These mods are free. First, we have the mod for disabling chromatic aberration. Mod is available on Nexus Mods website. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on Files. Download the latest version of the mod. Click on Manual Download here. Then click on Slow Download. Download will start. Next mod, it will disable the in-game vignette post-processing effect. This mod is available on Nexus Mods as well. Click on Files here. Download the latest version of the mod. Manual download. Click on Slow download. Need to use Elden Mod Loader in order to load these mods into the game. Download Elden Mod Loader from Nexus Mods website. Click on Files here. Click on Manual download under Elden Mod Loader latest version. Click on Slow download. Just download XSS SDK version 2.0.1 from Get up. I'll give its link in the description. Expand the assets section. Click on a dot zip link here. We'll manually update the mods XSS upscaler to the latest one. First, I'll install Hotai's ASS mod. Open its archive file. Select all of the files and folders present inside this archive file except for ASS reshade stuff dot add on, as I won't be using reshade. Copy. Need to. Paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage. Click on Browse local files. Open game folder. Paste everything here. Wait for the process to complete. We are done. 
Now I'll be installing the mod for removing frame time constraint. Open its archive file. Copy this folder ERSS2. It basically contains this add on file remove frame time constraint. Just need to paste this folder in the games install directory. Game folder right here. And just check for this TLL file should be present inside add ons folder. Now I'll install Elden Mod Loader. Open its archive file. Copy all of the files and folders present inside this archive file. Open the games install directory. Game folder. Paste everything here. Now I'll install the mods for disabling the in-game vignette and chromatic abrasion effects. First just open remove vignette archive file. Copy this mods folder, go back, paste. Do the same thing for remove chromatic abrasion archive file. Copy the mods folder, go back, paste. And this mods folder should contain these two TLL files. Go back, copy. Paste this mods folder in the games install directory where you install Elden Mod Loader right here. DLL files are present inside mods folder. Now I'll update the mods XSS subscaler. Just open XSS SDK.zip file. Open bin folder. Copy this DLL file lib XSS. Open the games install directory. Open game folder. Open ERSS2 folder. Bin folder. Replace the older version of XSS with the latest version. It's actually version 1.3. Replace. Version 2.0.1.41. Now I'll show you how to disable the game's easy anti-cheat implementation. Play the game in offline mode need to add this launch argument to the game via steam i'll provide in a description of the video select the game in your steam library click on the settings cog here click on properties click on general under launch options add this line of text adrenaline settings for the game vsync and vsync enable i have set the umi buffer size to 4 gb install ls latest official gpu driver that i had support for to whom the dark ages Using a 25 watts manual profile, all three power values set at 25 watts. Sign 20p resolution, CPU boost disabled. We are ready to run the game. Connected my FlyDG Beta 4 Pro controller to Allo via Bluetooth mode. X input controller. Upon reaching the games menu, you will see this prompt. A connection error occurred. Exactly what we wanted. Latest version of the game 1.16. Screen mode full screen, 720p resolution, ray tracing of. Depth of field motion blur disabled using medium to high settings. Global illumination quality set to low. Open the mods menu by pressing the home keyboard key. Frame generation just set to AMD FSR FG. Need to restart the game in order to apply the setting. Super resolution I'll just select XCSS. Latency reduction I'll just select anti lag 2. If you have an RTX GPU, you can use NVIDIA Reflex. FPS limit unlimited. HDR device does not support it. I'll just use the ultra quality preset of XCSS. Using NVIDIA MS scaling for sharpening. Level set to 0.500. Advanced settings. From here, make sure this setting is enabled. GI glitch mitigation. That's it. Here we are getting around 50 FPS. I'll just rate this camp. A lot of NPCs here. GPU load is close to 80%. 77%. 46 FPS. Anti lag 2 should be working. Press it hotkey combo. Alt Shift and L. Yeah. See the latency value, it's close to 37 milliseconds, depends on the scene. Here animation quality is looking a bit jarring, yeah 40 fps, that's why. 
outside LS we are arranged ok now I'll restart the game we are in FPS increased to around 85 can observe the added amount of smoothness image quality is looking decent but I am observing some pixelation around my character's hair helmet's hair just read the cam expect the FPS to tank still not hitting the GP bottleneck 90% GP load yeah, FPS dropped to around 76 waiting for this guy to blow his horn <laughs> let everyone ATFPS latency value is close to 36 milliseconds input delay is not a problem let them gang up on me increase the processor load so many NPCs still we are getting close to 80 FPS that's really good to see trying to use fire my shield it spits out fire and they won't let me use it attack keeps getting clogged ok so now I'll just switch the resolution to 900p use the quality preset of XESS FPS stayed around 80 900p resolution open the mod menu set the upscaler preset to quality back to the game FPS dropped to around 70 image quality is looking much sharper compared to 720p resolution ultra quality preset of XESS you can play the game this way latency value is close to 50 milliseconds it's manageable engage in combat trying to burn them down still getting 70 fps 70 to 75 <laughs> these guys chasing me so that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day